Alright guys, this video is going to be about compression. I don't know a whole lot about compression. Well, let me rephrase that. I don't know a whole lot about compression ratios, but I know what can make an engine run and what can't make an engine run. As you can tell, this one goes up to 300. 300, you're probably not going to see that very often. Especially in the 3.5 horse it comes up. If you have 300, if you have 300, uh, let's see. Um, I lost my train of thought. If you have 300 pounds of pressure, that is one hell of an engine. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna demonstrate on two different types, two different types of engines: four strokes and two strokes. All right. So we're gonna remove the spark plug. It's a little rusty on this. Right, here it comes. Let's see. Where's the lens? Here we go. Whew, that's pretty gummy. But it runs good with it, so I'll clean it up and stick it back in it. Dude, that's really gummy. So, what we do? I'm right, gonna plug my other adapter. And the little outlet the spark plug hole and stick your compression tester in there. Now they say not to get them more than finger tight and I don't do them more than finger tight but you gotta get in there nice and finger tight. Alright so you wanna set your throttle at high which is at this becomes a, is at high because the way the uh, the uh, the governor set up on it, so I want to pull it as fast as I can. All right, let it retract. Do it twice. And just keep doing it till the needle won't go up any higher. All right, I think we're done. Now we're getting just under fifty. If you ask anybody that knows a lot about small engines, they will say anything under 75 is bad for a small engine. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, my three and a half horse, as you can tell, is getting just under 50. I have a five and a half. I have, have a five horse that is getting right under 50. Or no, it's right at 50. And these engines both run great and have a lot of power. So I don't know. You know, I'm talking about bigger engines, but that's just what I know. So, 50 is actually about the lowest I'd say you want to go. Um, I have had an engine run with 40. Ugh, I'm not going to stick that plug back in. I'm going to clean it up, but that'll be tomorrow. I'm just doing a compression test. Of course, if I just plug out many times, it's just normal. So, there's our two stroke engine. This two stroke engine is a three horse Tecumseh. As you can tell, I like Tecumseh. I, I like Tecumseh because, well, they've been good to me, so I'd be good to them. Alright, nice finger tight. Tap a little bit more with your hand and pull. Alright. Look at that. Is that 40? 40. Now these are dry tests. 
Alright. I'll make a different video for wet test. But wet tests are usually higher than dry test. So, 40. That is pretty average for this size of an engine. Alright, this thing runs great and has a lot of power. Whew. Does it have power? So, um, it probably isn't. Uh, if you have under 75, yes, your engine is probably wore, probably is wore out. But that doesn't mean it's never going to run or it don't have very much power. It just means it's old and it's been used quite a bit. So, don't let anyone tell you that a little small engine under 75 pounds of pressure ain't going to run because that is a lie. Forty-eight and forty. These engines run like a beast. That thing I've taken it through. Weed about six inches taller than the motor, and that it bogs down, but it it'll cut through it. So that is how to do a compression test, a dry compression test.